Aloha, y'all. Welcome back to Pete's Treasures. My name is Aaron Richards, and this is the first time I am going live publicly, besides just my friends list and um, YouTube channel. Uh, if you can't catch the whole live stream and you want to, this will be on YouTube later on Pete's Treasures. Um, I'm going to wait until a few people are live, okay? Vamping. <laughs> I can't believe it's already almost the end of spring break. I've had a great time. We didn't go anywhere. Um, we've just done a lot of thrifting and that's fun enough for me. So this is gonna be some more thrift that I wanna show you that I just couldn't wait. Um, my husband is gonna be sharing this on the thrifting board. So I hope to have some of those fine folks join me. Um, the thrifting board is a wonderful Facebook group. We have. 58,000 members now, and a month or two ago, uh, Matthew and I were selected as moderators or admins um, to help with the group, and it's really, really fun because we've been following the thrifting board for four to five years, and I learned so much from them, so I would, you know, um, what do you call it? <laughs> I would recommend you checking out the thrifting board on Facebook. And um, yeah, I just learned so much about thrifting and selling on eBay. And so today I just wanted to show you a thrift haul of things that I got the past couple days. Um, I shared one on Monday and we have been busy ever since. Um, today you're going to see some Goodwill outlet bins, um, you know, whether you pay by the pound uh, I'm not going to show everything, but just, you know, th my most favorite things from that haul. And also a couple other thrift stores in the Dallas area. The bins were actually at um, Fort Worth. So we had to make the trek across the Metroplex. So yeah, if you like what you see, find us on YouTube, Pete's Treasures. And if you find anything that you just have to have, um, of course, hit me up. Um, and we can work out a deal. But otherwise, I just want to show you what kinds of things we buy to sell on eBay. It's fun and it makes money. And yeah, let's get into it. Here we go. All righty, y'all. We have a little bit of everything to show you. Glassware, plush, vintage, yarn, linens, kitsch, mid-century, anything and everything, pictures. So let's start with items that are close to me. This was a dollar from Iroquois, but um, the thing that is good about this is Russell Wright. Russell Wright is a mid-century um, designer. Not a designer, I, I, you know, a maker. And they make really simple looking dishware and it tends to be pretty popular and I like it. I like the build quality and the simplistic look. So there we go. That was worth picking up for a dollar. We've sold some Russell Wright um, uh, plates before. Hello, James and Miss Fulkerson. Good to have you. Um, now, look at all of these mugs. Can you have too many mugs? Your answer probably is yes, but not me. This is Palace by Fitz and Floyd. Fitz and Floyd is one of the brands I look for. And this is older. This is 1977, if my Roman numerals are correct, from Japan. I think it's beautiful. It's a little teacup. I almost wanted to say demitasse, but I don't think it's demitasse. I think it's just a teacup. But anyways, I got 17 of them. I know Matthew almost killed me. Just kidding. But the cool thing is that when you stack them together, they're about the size of a regular mug. And the reason why I got them is they were 99 cents each. Um, and I think I could sell in sets of two for $15. Now that's on the high end plus shipping. So we'll see how we do on that. Okay. <laughs> and you know, if these sit a long, long time, then I'll know not to get that many next time. But I just could not pass up cheap Fitz and Floyd. Um, so yeah. 99 cents each. I think I already said that. And then I also found a creamer for $1.49. I wish they had the sugar bowl, but they don't. Anyways, love Fitz and Floyd. And speaking of, let me just show you the other Fitz and Floyd I got. This is a brand new and packaged travel mug, and it can go between $18 and $21. 
Um, so for a dollar ninety nine, oh dollar ninety one, <laughs> I always love the random prices that they put on things. That's a pretty good find. Yeah, like I said, love Fitz and Floyd, and you don't find it new in packaging very often. If you were watching my other live that I did on Monday, I mentioned Gail Pittman. She's a good girl. We love Gail Pittman. <laughs> um, she was a designer for Southern Living, I believe. She probably does more things, but I just recognized this brand uh, right away. And this was three ninety nine, and I haven't looked up solds. But, you know, when the plates do so well, I expect the platter to bring, I don't know, between 18 and 22. That's what I would hope, at least. We will see. It's When you get so much stuff, it's hard to do research on everything. Moving right along. Look at these jeans, y'all. How cute. From Ben's Inc. It has the vintage Made in Japan sticker. $2.99. And I just had to have it. I'm a sucker for planters. I believe this is a planter. <laughs> I see that Ben's Inc. also made a mug. But this is a little too big to be a mug. So I'm voting on planter. I just had to get it. If I don't sell it, it's cute. All right, how y'all doing this Friday evening? Thank you for joining me today. This is Bahama Breeze Island Grill. It's a tiki mug. Um, it's not an expensive one, but I thought for 99 cent it was cute. And it can be one of my guest tiki mugs if I'm doing a barrel cocktail or something. And it's a good condition, but we'll see how much that goes for. Now, moving right along. This, I've actually listed before. I think it's beautiful. It's an homage to Tiffany, of course. I believe it's Louis Comfort Tiffany. Um, and yeah, let's see. From Chalor. Chalor is the brand. And this can go for $22, you guys. I actually got this at a thrift store two days ago in Forney called a thrift center. And it was 99 cents. And I already knew what it was. So it's awesome selling things that you automatically know that you can pick it up and sell it. So, uh, I have a mug addiction. Speaking of, uh, this is Laurel Birch. Very popular. It is guaranteed to sell. Well, <laughs> not nothing's ever guaranteed. It was 60 cents. Vintage, 1997. Um, but it's just a mug and, you know... She's known for her cats, so there you go. I think it's cute. Um, I have a lot of cat people in my family, and if we didn't have three dogs, I would have a cat. So yeah, cute. I expect this to go between 15 and 18. Speaking of cat lady, my brother just entered the live chat. Hello, Andrew. Do you like this cat mug? <laughs> All right. Name the brand. I bet you Andrew can tell the brand. America's Stars and Stripes, Flag of Freedom. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Thank you for joining me. This is Francoma. It is a trivet. I got it for $3. <laughs> Andrew got excited. Um, I really love the yellow color of Francoma. I have some bread warmers with uh, it. And Francoma is a pottery company based in um, Oklahoma. Thanks for joining us, Kathy. I really appreciate it. Um, we're just doing a thrift haul of stuff that I got to sell on eBay. Um, and yeah, this is actually not worth that much. It's probably worth about $10. So I might keep it, but it's nice. I could always list it for like $14 and see what happens. Um, some of you who are used to selling on eBay, especially in the mug categories, you might recognize this brand right away. It only has a few little scuffs, which might come out with bartender's friend or barkeeper's friend. I forget. I think it's Barkeeper's Friend. Um, this is Worcestersbach. Worcestersbach. I believe that's how you say it. From West Germany. Um, this is Geese, obviously. Um, I got it for... I got a six-piece set at Value World Thrift for $7.90. So these were like a dollar ten each or something like that. All right. So this is... One of them is damaged. Let me disclaim that. Okay, well, one of them has a crack. Let's find the crack, y'all. Oh, I found the crack. This is not sellable. I'll probably use it as a pencil holder. <laughs> um, but, yeah, 
I think they could go for about 12 to 14 each. That's just the number that sticks in my head with the research. So there we go. That was worth picking up to me. And our last little mug bundle, I just learned how to make Tom and Jerry's this Christmas season with um, Smuggler's Cove, their book. But I didn't make the Tom and Jerry. Um, I made the hot buttered rum. But anyways, you would have like a little punch bowl with these little tiny cups. And this is a great brand, Hall, Hall Pottery, um, vintage, of course. And these are in great condition. The gold is still there. And they were 80 cents each. Um, sorry, I'm all over the place. Usually Tom and Jerry mugs are like milk glass or white. So I really like how these are black. They just look nice to me. I got seven at 80 cents each. And I think I want to keep one and sell them in lots of two. Okay? Because I think I could get about 15 for a set of two. At least that's the goal. And thankfully, they're small. So hopefully shipping based on weight is not too bad. So yeah, I was super excited to find these Tom and Jerry mugs. Oh, that story, I, it's not a story, but you actually make a batter with like butter and sugar and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool, Kathy. Thank you for chiming in. Yes, Tom and Jerry, let's, let's bring back the Tom and Jerry. Um, yeah, just a wonderful winter cocktail drink, almost like eggnog, but different. Um, yeah, so that's it for the glassware. Let's move on to some other things. Matthew, my husband, is king of the lovey. Not really. That's kind of a weird title, isn't it? This is a frog lovey from the brand Carter's. I think we mentioned that before. Yes, Kathy, I, uh, I was looking everywhere for the bowl. Usually the Tom and Jerry sets have a big punch bowl, and that would have been so cool. Um, but yes, this lovey can go for about 18 uh, to $22. Um, and it was only $2. So pick up loveys. I mean, obviously not all loveys are created equal, but um, there's some really good brands out there and usually they're cheap, uh, maybe because they're small. We actually found this one in the plush area. So if it's not in the baby area of a thrift store, it can be in plush. Um, I am channeling Nadine from the Thrifting Board. Hi, Nadine, <laughs> if you ever watch this. Um, she sells a lot of yarn, and um, she has her own show called Nalo's Thrift Talk. Um, so in addition to Thrifty Business, you could check that out on YouTube. Um, and this is my first, no, probably my second yarn to pick up. It had the wrapper still there, Bernat, Bernat. Um, oh, look at that cake. Doesn't that look good, y'all? <laughs> Anyways, this yarn I saw sold for $21.99, free shipping. So for $3 each, I thought, can't go wrong. Even if it sold for $15, that would be a great price. And it's pretty light. That could go in a poly bag, I believe. Uh, Matthew does all the shipping, so I'll leave that to him. But before I get into what we got at the Goodwill Outlets, let me finish up what we got other places. Okay, everybody, what movie is this from? If you're on YouTube, leave it in the comments, or if anyone in the chat knows, uh, this was four sixty nine, and I'm going to try not to drop it. Here is the brand, 1956. Oh, there it is. I can't remember what it says. Fine Entertainment, Inc. There we go. Sorry, y'all. I had to focus. <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? If, no, it wouldn't be funny if I just dropped that. And the kangaroo's hands are placed kind of in a funny way. This is a dresser caddy um, that you would put on your dresser to put coins, little trinkets. And I don't know what you'd put in there. A taco? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a handkerchief? Who knows? But this is from the movie Pulp Fiction. I remember the the female character saying, yes, I put it in the kangaroo. Um, and I just thought that was so funny. You can find them at antique stores for like $40, $50. Um, I believe this would be a great thing to sell on Etsy. Um, we're thinking of starting to list there. Um, also, the planter might be a good thing to list on Etsy. But yeah, I was super excited that I could finally have it. 
because you never find that in thrift store. Actually, I have before, but usually they're like cracked or broken or chipped, and that's in perfect condition. Sorry, I was just super excited about that item. Now, this was a great find, um, and I'm surprised that these little fragile bits, <laughs> fragile bits, um, were still intact. There's no breakage to this. This is a Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville uh, frame, originally $35, y'all, from Universal Studios. <laughs> um, it was a dollar. There was no price on it, but she just said a dollar, and I'm like, heck yes. Um, it's already listed for $30 because it sells consistently for $25 or up. So that was an awesome find. All right, y'all, I need a coffee break. Let me know if you're watching. I would love to say hi. All right, we have nine people live. Thank you, guys. Um, here is something I got at Value World Thrift. This is for me. It works perfect in our little lounge area. It's glass, and it has this beautiful peacock chair that reminds me of my favorite local tiki bar, Swizzle. Um, it is a little broken on the inside. Like, you can see some, like, glue is coming apart, but it looks nice, and you won't be able to tell when it's, once it's hung up. It was $2.99. Um, oh, that's, that's cool, Lauren. Thank you for joining me. Um, yes, I'm going to talk about that, Fox. I'm glad you said that because I almost didn't get it. Um, thanks, Andrew. Um, <laughs> Matthew said he was going to take this zip tie off, but it doesn't matter. This, of course, is a rain stick. Let it soothe your anxieties. It is Friday, everyone. Getting ready for the weekend. This was $6.99. There's no cracks. Whenever I find them in thrift stores, there's something wrong with them. And I am a music teacher, so this was a great price. That's not a crack. That's just the wood. <laughs> this was a great price uh, for that quality of a rain stick. Um, so, yeah, I had to pick it up. Thank you for, <laughs> Andrew, make it rain. Yeah, I looked. If I were to sell that, um, it's usually not good to say the prices are all over the place, but they kind of are for rain sticks because there's so many different brands. I think I would list that one for about 30 It's kind of nice. Um, speaking of nice, this, name the brand. Anybody? Can you name the brand? Very soft, and it has these buttons and a zip. Um it's a good brand. Um, Matthew actually bought one before, and he has ended up keeping it, so maybe we can sell this one. It is Beaterlac. Let's see if I can, in a timely manner, show you the... Um, oh, here's the tag. Look for Beaterlac. It is a great brand, almost like San Marcos. Close, Andrew. We do have a Pendleton blanket. Um, still really high quality. And yeah, this was $2, y'all. Really, really awesome find for two bucks. I think it could go in the $35 to $45 range. Um, yeah, but <laughs> Matthew may end up keeping it. All right, I have one more thing before I show you what we got at the Goodwill Outlets. Now, this was so awesome. Who here likes The Office? It's been a while since I've seen it, but I've seen each episode probably three, four times. Um, these I almost skipped over, but thanks to the eBay app, <laughs> thanks to the eBay app and searching solds, these are from NBC Universal or something like that. Something like that. Oh, me too, Sarah. So let me tell you about these. I got distracted. <laughs> they were $5.99 each. But they have a resale value of between $55 and $65. So I am so glad I didn't skip over them. And they are in the box. Yes, I, I was thinking about putting Pam and Jim together. But it might be better to list them to get, uh, separately, to be honest. Now, Dwight, poor Dwight, he doesn't sell as much. But you never know. We might list it as the same price. But I'll have to... Uh, go over my research and also look on Terra Peak. If you are just now joining me, we are doing a Friday night thrift haul 
what things we picked up this spring break, the, specifically the past two days. You can check out more of our videos, especially thrift hauls on Pete's Treasures and YouTube. We would love for you to subscribe and give our videos a like if you like the content. I appreciate everyone who checks out what we do. I love to teach people what to buy to sell on eBay because I'm just a regular teacher who likes to help Matthew with our business of selling treasure because thrifting has always been in my life and it's always been so fun um, to hunt for things that you can flip. And of course, keep. <laughs> All right, here are some things that I got at the Goodwill Outlets in Fort Worth yesterday. Now, Matthew already cleaned them. They're all good to go. Um, that you pay by weight. And um, so, yeah, I don't have a price on each one. We only paid $15 for all of this plus more. You know, I got a lot of things that I didn't think were worthy of this live haul, but I'll show that in another haul video. Um, we have so many videos to make, um, but let's get started. This weighed not much at all, so I thought it was a good pickup. Um, it is the Big 12 Mini Pendant Set, and it's officially licensed. And, you know, football is big in Texas, and originally it was only $7.99. But, you know, for probably $0.25 cents or something, that's a good pickup. Yes, uh, Lauren, it's a little gene planter. Isn't that cute? From Ben's Inc. <laughs> yes, I can't wait to get to that Muppet, um, Matthew wrote me a little note, so I remember its name. <laughs> um, this is a little Mickey hat. I'm not sure what we can get for it, but um, thought it was really cute. Matthew picked that up, and it is an officially licensed product. Um, let's get to this very, very cute lunchbox. Um, this, okay, I've been into anime lately. In fact, I started an anime club at my school because I saw a need. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to find the tag. Oh, it's still wet because Matthew washed it, so excuse the condensation. <laughs> it's Banania, and Crunchyroll is an anime company, almost like Funimation, where they show anime. So I thought this was super, super cute. Kawaii! Yeah. Uh, it, I looked on eBay, and it looks like you can get it with a backpack and a plush for $30. So I'm thinking this is worth about $15. Super, super cool find from Matthew. All right, coffee break, y'all. And pretty soon it'll be a break for, you know, adult beverages. Okay, this is the fox uh, Lauren was talking about. Super, super soft. 2020 Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh, it almost feels like a squish mellow. Um, I almost didn't get it, but then I looked up solds. This can go for about 20 to $22 with free shipping, which it would only cost about $2 to, to ship this. Um, super glad we got that, and it's so cute. Now, this is something Matthew got from the bins. Her eyes still work. Who loves creepy doll heads? I know I do. Um, there is a desire for them because people love to craft with them or make displays, and it's just so cute. There, ooh, look at that contraption. <laughs> um, this is, oh yeah, obviously it was from the bin, so not a specific price, but it's pretty light. And she had no brand. Yes, Lauren, list it. <laughs> but there, there were lots listed, but lots that sold, so that's awesome. <laughs> I like it too, Andrew. We have this guest bedroom, which is now an eBay room <laughs> that we call like, the creepy baby doll room because we have this baby in the corner just staring at you. It's fun. This was also the Goodwill Outlet bin. Uh, Matthew put him on this nice little stand. Sorry, she. And she is a cute little, you know, little Aloha shirt with sunglasses. This is Wimbly. I like that, the head too, Kathy. And uh, Andrew, which kitties are you talking about? I don't have any kitties. Oh, I have the kitty mug. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, I'm getting distracted with these comments. Thank you guys for taking your time to watch this video. This is Wembley, and it is one of a least, not least popular, 
Um, from, oh, oh, these are the kitties. Yes, so cute. I want to keep it. This is not one of the least popular, but least popularly made. Um, it's a puppet named Wembley from Fraggle Rock. We have sold a big Fraggle Rock uh, before, but not this character. Why am I holding her hand like, let me talk about you, baby girl. Uh, she can go for about $60, y'all. Heck yes, from the Goodwill Outlet bins, it weighed next to nothing. Amen. Okay, this is a Disney Store plush. Oh, yes, there we go. Oh, focus. Oh, my brother listed a fraggle. That's funny. Small world. This is the little baby alligator. Actually, it's the alligator in baby form from Peter Pan called TikTok. How cute. This goes at least $20. I love plush. If you're not selling plush, they're very, they're very worth looking into. I could have said that better, but Matthew has fun with them and we have so much plush. If you haven't checked it out yet, we did a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing for plush. That's up on our YouTube. Now, the camera, unfortunately, was a little out of focus, but we didn't want to redo it because it was a surprise. And it's funny. It, actually, it's not funny. Um, you couldn't tell from the iPad that it was out of focus, so I don't know. We still wanted to post it, but f fun fact, I think depending on where you live, or I don't know what the standards are, but Goodwill blue boxes um, go on sale on Fridays, I believe at five o'clock, and it goes by so fast. Matthew was able to get the plush, but we tried to get the um, we tried to get the men's clothing one because we got a lot of good stuff uh, for that. But and that video is coming soon. But it was gone within like less than five minutes. He couldn't even put his information in. Um, Kathy, we don't have a plush cleaning page, but I'm glad you mentioned that because Matthew has been wanting to make videos of tricks and tips to clean plush because he's really good at that. I don't necessarily have the patience for that, but I'm glad he does. Patience. Yes, Andrew, these veggies. Who here likes carrots? I do. That's my favorite vegetable. Who here likes broccoli? Not so much for me. But anyways, these are Ikea, and I, they were at the Goodwill Outlet bins, all clean, ready to go. Look at her little feet, or him. Hmm. I love it, and Ikea always has these big tags, um, and keeping the tags on is the best, because people like to see what it's from, where it's from. Um, a Goodwill blue box is almost like a mystery box that Goodwill does online. And that was our, we've only gotten two before. Um, and it was fun. Some are ones that we might even want to keep. And you can buy them with categories. James, don't remind me that carrots are full of carbs. You know what? If I have a carrot on my plate, I did my part to be healthy. Okay. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so Goodwill Blue Boxes, we don't have an extreme amount of experience, but they're mystery boxes and they're super fun. And, you know, I would say both boxes were worth it for us to pick up. Um, we sold an Ikea strawberry um, just like this for over $20. So um, some people actually have the broccoli and the carrot together. Um, I think we might um, sell it separately. Um yeah, because I think maybe we could get 20 each. I don't know. And, you know, these are big plush, but if they're in good condition, they can be scrunched down a little bit. And when they get out of the pa uh, poly bag or, pl or uh, box, they fluff right back up, depending on it, okay? I wouldn't scr uh, scrunch together like some vintage plush, but these are very pliable. I mean, they were in the good Goodwill outlet bins just dancing around. Um, so yeah, I just love them. I love anthropomorphic <laughs> anything. And I have an antique mall haul coming up soon. Check it out on Pete's Treasures when it gets posted, probably next Friday. Um, that's going to show these hallmark anthropomorphic vegetables. It was just an anthropomorphic vegetable kind of week, y'all. And isn't that the best kind of week? 
Um, this is a vintage bedtime bear. I believe that's his name. Bedtime bear. Um, and let's see if I can find the tag. There it is. From Care Bears, of course. Let's look at the tag. 1983 from American Greetings. You know, Care Bears have had a resurgence lately. I find a lot of Care Bears that are actually not vintage. That doesn't mean they don't go for a lot, but this one uh, seems to be pretty good. I forgot how much you could go for, but for the outlet bins, that was a great find. One of the last plush we have from the outlet bins is from Carter's, just like the Lovey. Um, yeah. This doesn't weigh hardly anything, and it's it's on the newer end. And it can maybe go for 12 or 14 I think. But for $0.25, cents, that's great. Um, this was pretty big, but it looks super cool and nice. And it's from the brand Levtex Baby. They have a baby line, and when I searched Levtex Baby Elephant, I even threw in keywords like pink, um, it didn't have it. So everything else that was Levtex had high prices, like 15 20 25 So I just felt good about it. Sometimes you have to take a gamble. And you know, oh, okay, the Care Bear can go between 18 and 22 That is great. Bedtime. Okay, so yeah, pick up plush that you think can go well. They're usually cheap. Um, you can donate them um, if they're in good condition to children who need stuffed animals. Like I am a school teacher. I give stuffed animals all the time to my students because I love to buy big plushy bins and weed out the ones that I can sell. And there's certain ones I keep like Pokemon and stuff um, because my, my kids like that. So yeah, I forgot about a couple things before I go. Let's take a look at this little monkey. I love the brand Anna Lee, and it even has the tag. They still make Anna Lee in New Hampshire, and um, you can actually find them at Home Goods and things like that. Um, this one has little Christmas lights. We might keep her. And don't y'all hate when they put grease marker or a tag on the product and basically ruin it? I mean, we might be able to get that out, but this is very nice felt, and yeah. Who knows? We'll probably keep it anyways because I don't find Anna Lee very often. And it was, I believe, $2. Not bad. I wonder how much it could sell for. We'll see. Um, this is a little bit of retail arbitrage that my husband Matthew did today at Kroger. Kroger is a, you know, I don't know if it's Texas-based. You know, they're all around the country, but um, it's basically like Ralph's or, you know, it's a grocery store. Um, this is a Squishmallow. Squishmallows are super hot right now. In fact, I went to Aldi as well yesterday. They have big ones for $9.99. This was on sale. Instead of $9.99, it was on sale for $5.99. And it can go for about $18. So retail arbitrage is about buying new stuff at the store and flipping it for a profit. And we've done it quite a bit at grocery stores. Um <laughs> The pig, James. Which pig? Which pig are you talking about? See, I have... I'm so distracted sometimes. Because there's so much stuff to look at. So, as you can see, we've been through a lot of shopping. Um, we have probably about four videos worth of inventory left. Oh, yes, Andrew. We already talked about the kangaroo... Um, yes, I was totally going to put Pulp Fiction, and I just love it. Oh, that's a pig. Okay, for some reason in my mind, <laughs> I it looks like a Care Bear. I don't know what I thought it was. To me, it was just a Squishmallow. Maybe the hair threw me off. I don't know. It does have a pig nose. It's the Easter collection. This is a horse, Matthew? Oh, is that why it has a mane and a tail? <laughs> okay, so I wasn't wrong. But, you know, that is kind of a weird nose for a horse. Maybe not. <laughs> that was funny. But, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Um, you can check out other videos that we like to make. We don't just do thrift hauls. We do vlogs. Um, we do shop with me. Like, I'm about to post two videos from our antique store shopping trip. We do vlogs where we go to some tiki destinations and other places. 
and I just love doing Facebook Lives, all right? So please join us on YouTube, or if you're interested in any of these products and more, you can go to Pete'sTreasures.com or just message me. Oh, yes, Pete's Treasures on YouTube, if I didn't say that. Um, Matthew and I are the newest admins joining the team at the thrifting board. So if you're not a part of the thrifting board, why don't you check it out? Um, lots of help there if you're looking to thrift and make money while doing it. Yes, Andrew, you're going to have to check out the beginning of the haul because there are some great things. I knew you would like that Tom and Jerry mug. Oh, my brother, my twin brother does the same thing. Um, he is a thrifter and he sells on eBay and you can check out his channel at Knickknack Twin Attack. It's funny, we were originally going to have a YouTube channel together, but we don't live by each other anymore. He's in the Austin area, and I'm in the Dallas area. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, there are wonderful YouTubes from Jason T. Smith, who is the creator of the Thrifting Board, that we have been on as well, called Thrifty Business. And it is a weekly show on Thursdays, and he also does one with his mother, Peg. Awesome, awesome show where you learn a lot of tips, tricks, how to sell on eBay, other platforms, and what to look for while thrifting. So this is a result of my own research, my own experience, but I learned so many different things to pick up that I wouldn't have known, like this yarn. They talk about yarn all the time. I would have not known there was money in thrifted yarn. Let's see, what else? I know this isn't a good tiki mug by any means, but I know about tiki because of Jason. And yeah, there's just so much to learn and have fun, and it's kind of a community, and we would love to have you. So, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your Friday night and your weekend. And it's not hoarding if you at least try to sell it. Am I right? Keep digging for that treasure, y'all. Bye, everybody.